I thought I'd start with the on and off switch. In the past I've used a gate valve, which needs lots of machining and all sorts of fiddling about with. But then I thought, hang on a minute. Well, I suddenly remembered that you could get these radiator bleed valve keys and they are 9mm diameter and the entrance to this, because it's for 8mm pipe, is 8mm. So I quickly need to drill that out. We've got the fitting and we've got a hole in the top into which the key, the radiator bleed valve key, will fit and turn freely. So that's fantastic. Now the next thing is the actual electrical bit. And I thought rather than using some complicated switching device again, trying to get everything simple, try and use or use one of these rotary switches. You can get them in all sorts of different flavours if you like. You can get ones with little rings that you can solder wires into, you can get them with little pins that you can put into printed circuit boards, all sorts of different configurations. But in effect, they have a rotary contact inside that sweeps round and connects different pins together. So we can use it perfectly as an on and off switch. The only bit I've had to make up for this is a washer, in effect, out of acrylic, thin acrylic. And this sits inside the bottom fitting, and then that goes over the switch fitting. In fact, I'll tell you what, I've got a jig. Brilliant. Right, we put the nut on. So we can put this back over now. And that's still free to tighten down to clamp into um, the surface of the cabinet, the wooden surface. Now the thing is, last bit which I've already done with this particular switch, is filing it into a square because the switch as they come usually have, well, you can see, yeah there we are, usually have a flat on one side. What I found was, luckily, this flat is exactly the same length as one of the sides on the key. So it makes it really quite easy that you just file a little bit off there and there and there until it's roughly right. Then the key will just push onto it. There you go. And that's perfect. I'm so pleased with that. Very little machining using mostly bought in parts that are fairly cheap and we've created a really useful sort of switch steampunk control that could be used to wind something up, even sounds a little bit clockwork as well. 